Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot Cisco UCC troubleshooting kit, how to troubleshoot Finas out of service. Often, when you try to log in to Finas, suddenly you might see where it says Finas is out of uh, service currently. So when that happens, you want to make sure that <coughs> few things are for uh, configure uh, configured properly. First of all, uh, if this is a first deployment or first time you're doing it, you want to make sure that your administration configuration is, you know, perfect. So there's two type of scenario you can troubleshoot this. One is when it is the first time you're doing this and you are facing this problem. And then next, I will show you if this is uh, something that happened somewhere in the middle of you know, um, which a system that was already configured. So first log in to your call manager, uh, Finas administration. <coughs> and while that is coming up, I want to open my admin server. So let's go and open my administration server. Okay, so what you want to do is go to administration tools. Well, first of all, make sure that means servers are all okay. There you go. There's a problem right there. We need to start start the administration server. So I'll do the same thing on side B. No, sorry, I opened the wrong one. Okay, so here you have um, make sure that the service is started because of the fact that it rebooted. It might have, it might be a problem with the disk um, service being started. So we want to make sure that A is running perfectly fine. Let me set this to automatic so that it doesn't happen again. And now you want to go the configuration manager. Okay, so in the configuration manager, we're going to keep that open. Now, the back to original problem, which was Finas out of service. So we want to look at the Finas configuration. Now, obviously, we're going to have to wait for the Finas server to receive retrieve the information from the server. So let me refresh this. So you notice how the information is not showing up is usually the browser related issue. So you want because I am uh, logged in remotely from Dubai into our data center in Toronto. So it might take a little time, but I can also try to go go to that page from the um, server inside. So I'll try to log in from the server itself. FN. Okay, so you want to make sure that this information is correct. So this is the IP address of your CTI server. This is the CTI server where uh, on the PG that is connecting to your call manager cluster your agent belongs to. So this is 53 and 65.53. The peripheral ID is important because we are using uh, our call manager cluster 
uh, let me show you the topology that we're using right now uh, so this is the topology uh, that we're going to use and right now our India cluster which is considered to be where all our agents are and this is connected to this particular PG and in that PG you also have a CTS server so this is the CTS server that is pointing to the uh, Finance is pointing to so to ensure that we want to make sure that the peripheral ID is the right one so to do that you want to go to the configuration you want to go to tools list tools sorry uh, explore tools PG so we need to select the PG that is connecting to our India cluster so we have a PG called PGIN uh, that is our India cluster PG and there you will have a peripheral called CUCM cluster this is the IP this is the ID that we need 5001 whatever that might it might be different for you from your case then you want to make sure your uh, database information is also correct this is often the problem where you mistype um, your instance name I have had many students in my ECC boot camps where they will simply type VBC or VCB they're assuming that you know V voice bootcamp instance name also your user uh, domain account as well as administrator and password now if these informations are correct then we are going to have to find out if the PG is actually running successfully or not now one of the major problem with UCC with finance is that see if I this is the PG uh, this is the PG that we're talking about PG 2B now you notice how PG 2B it is showing running okay so now what I'm going to do remember in the earlier I said that PG service might be running but doesn't mean it's working the way it's supposed to so I'm going to go to the framework protocols to see if the PG is actually active as a first thing okay so I need to turn this feature on remember what is that ICM service okay so now I'm going to framework to find out if the my PG is active or not All right, now go to list process. So you can see the PG2B is showing active, uh, configured. So now I got to double check it on A to make sure that is also the same. So actually site A should be active because site B was uh, standby. Actually, I turned that I turned the service on on the wrong server. Well, it's a good thing that I have it there as well. So I want to make sure. Uh, well, the service started I could go back log in all right so again double check the list process and you should see that your call manager is active so that's mean the PG is actually communicating properly with the call manager you also notice that your CTI server is also is currently idle on site A so we want to look at site B you'll see the CTS server on site B is active. Now, though that is not necessarily the problem, but we want, what we want to do, we want to force site A to be active. So let's do a quick stop and start. So this will fall, fall the CTS server to site A. And as we go and check it on site B, you'll notice it's active right there. This is site A, so it's active. All right, I'll turn this feature on. Now, <coughs> if I still try to go uh, to the finesse it still might show um, my service right now as you notice is no longer out of service so that's your one indication 
whether your uh, um, service is uh, sorry if your finos configuration is properly configured or not now i will show you another config that to check even after configuration and restarting the finos you realize that uh, something is not is still showing out of service what you want to do you want to go to on your same server or the pg is go to trace level or try at least trace trace files and you see right here cti server 2a slash cti srs vr you want to click on submit and you want to open this particular ex or extract this particular file you can do it through this page or you can do it through the rtmt totally up to you Okay, so I have this open. So what I want to do, go at the very bottom of the page. And you want to make sure that this, oops. See this right here, PG status. If the PG status is not normal, then your finas will be out of service okay so if you for some reason if it is showing you unknown that means your finas is not uh, for some reason your pg is not working properly so it is extremely important that yes your uh, pg pg to the call manager might be active but internally uh, CTS server is not able to communicate it with the PG properly. So you want to make sure that PG status is set to normal. Until it is normal, your finance will be out of service. Okay, once this is fixed, and the way to fix that, let's say it is not normal for some reason, uh, the quickest way to fix that, of course, is by deleting the CTI server from your uh, peripheral gateway setup. You want to delete the CTI server and simply re-add it. Though that is not a solution, uh, you may want to work uh, open a tech case with Cisco and try to find out why it is um, going um, unknown. And it could be a bug. It could be something to do with the fact that in our lab environment we're running on a non-supported platform, or it could be a multiple uh, issue, other issues. So. Open a case with Cisco TAC if it, is, if it happens regular basis. But if it happens once in a while, uh, once time, it's not a really big deal. All right, so again, finesse out of service usually indicates either the configuration of those parameters such as uh, peripheral ID or the database name is incorrect. Or if that part is working and it was suddenly stopped, uh, you may want to check the trace file to make sure the PG status is set to normal. If it is not normal, the best way to fix the problem or the quickest way to fix the problem, delete the CTI server, hey, your system is down anyway, and add it again quickly. It takes you probably 30 seconds to do that, maybe in a minute the most, and then you should have, uh, after that, you have to restart the Finas Tomcat, which is which can be a, bi a big problematic issue. But the fact that your Finas service out of service, you're really not using the Finas anyway. So go ahead and restart the Finas uh, service, uh, Tomcat services. All right, so that's pretty much in this video. I hope you found the video to be useful and uh, well, hope you can troubleshoot the Finas problem.